Good morning. It's 4.13 in the morning on May 2nd, day 29. It's uh, 37.2 degrees. It's a little chilly. It's definitely pretty windy. I'm waking up. Six twenty in the morning, thirty-seven point two degrees, um, and still quite windy. Quite, quite, quite windy. If you're wondering, like, dude, I thought you woke up two hours ago. You're right. Uh, I did my my wake up check-in like at four thirteen or whatever in the world it was, and dude, the wind was like three times worse than. And I just didn't have the nerve. I just had not the nerve to do what needed to be done. And so I just lay down for another 45 minutes or so. And as bad as the wind is now, it, it, it's uh, quite a bit calmer than it was just even that short while ago. So sometimes you get lucky. I mean, I was expecting just <laughs> to have been lazy for no reason and have the wind not have calmed down at all. But luckily it calmed down at least a little bit. So that was nice. And now it's only a strong wind instead of an insane wind. And at 37.2 degrees, boy, I'll tell you, it feels brisk out here. Um, anyways, enough of that. Slept actually pretty gosh darn well last night. Happy to report. I think, I'm pretty sure I was the only person at camp. Um, two came meandering through just this morning. I think one's still back there getting water, using the privy or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I think I had the place to myself. Uh, that side of the bush which I pitched up on did indeed remain the leeward side, so that helped kind of mitigate some of that wind a little bit. Not entirely by any stretch, but a little bit. Um, put in my earplugs, and though my tent was baffling and flapping and snapping and cracking and popping and waffling every which crazy loud way, I pretty much slept like a baby, um, <laughs> which was great. And uh, I'll say when I woke up this morning, there was definitely a decent amount of condensation on the inside of the tent and on the outside of my sleeping bag. Not necessarily a super problematic amount, but definitely some. Um, and that, I suppose, just owes to the fact that those clouds are still doing their thing. They have not abated their downhill march since sometime yesterday morning. They've just been screaming down the mountain um, super fast. I did clock yesterday that about 6,000 feet was the cloud elevation, like the cloud line, if you will. Uh, and I camped here at 5,000, so sort of on the low end of when the clouds are uh, breaking up. Um, so honestly, I was kind of expecting that condensation last night. Nothing you can do about it, but I was expecting it. And I got it. Uh, anything else about last night? No, there was a condensation. Oh, I'll say uh, that battery as well. I charged it up some yesterday as well on the solar panel. It threw 20% into my phone, which was actually astounding, considering that yesterday was like 80, 85% cloud cover all day long. So that it was able to derive 20% juice for my phone is, is pretty impressive. So color me impressed on the solar panel. Um, and. On that note, the Durston as well is kind of wearing on me. It's, or uh, whatever, working its magic on me. I'm slowly, but slowly, but slowly becoming more comfortable with that tent. Um, plan for today, I think 21, 22 miles. I think I'm gonna wind up skipping Acton, just passing through to pick up a resupply box that my beautiful wife Daphne mailed me there. And, um, but that'll be tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow morning. So I'll camp short of Acton tonight. Give myself four miles or something to get there in the morning. Pick up my box and then keep moving on to uh, Agua Dulce. So anyways, there's a road coming. There's a couple hikers up here. So I'm gonna turn off, get hiking, and I'll talk to you guys later.
All right, guys, it is 10 till noon. And for the first time today, it just cracked 40 degrees. It's 41.8 degrees. Just have a quick view dedication. I wanted to get out to a couple more people who donated to the hike. This one's gonna go out for Potato Thorn, Linda Rainey. I'm just coming off Mount Gleason here. And uh, this is the view down to the east, down in Soledad Canyon. You might even make out Cache Peak right around here. Um, perhaps, admittedly, not the uh, most spectacular view of the past couple days, I'm afraid, sorry. Um, but I'll tell you, a fantastic view for me because Mount Gleason was positively brutal just hiking through a cloud in 33 degrees so I am very happy to be down off that elevation super 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 thrilled to be looking down on Soledad Canyon uh, Potato Thorn Linda Rainey and a special bonus for Jonathan Barber and uh, Landfill and Morning Dove that view is for you for Thank you so much. Uh, if anyone's interested to donate to the hike, we're just wrapping up my first full month. All those links are in the description down below. Uh, really, 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 really appreciate you guys. Thank you so, so, so much. Okay guys, 419, 59.4 degrees. I've just made it to Acton, whatever, like KO, formerly it was a KOA. Now it's like just a campground, an RV park or something. I'm not really totally sure. I'm trying to find the office and trying to find a ride to Palmdale. I was able to secure a doctor's appointment for tomorrow morning. This is a bathhouse. I wish there was an office. Uh, I'm gonna keep looking around. I'll check in one more time. Traveling beat With the earth beneath my feet I will walk to the rhythm Of a traveling beat Traveling beat With the earth beneath my feet I will walk to the rhythm Of the traveling beat 